Hey everyone, how are you? Doc Hippo just launched a new minimalist UI that focuses on creating a fun user experience. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the changes and show you the brand new UI of Doc Hippo. Let's get started. While the previous sign up interface was nice and clean, this one is fun. The white background creates a super clean minimalist look and the trendy illustration adds some fun. The sign up form is also bigger in size to improve the user experience here. Once you sign up, you get to this verification form, which earlier used to look like this. The interface for updating company information also got a facelift with a colorful illustration, while it used to be a traditional form interface earlier. Once you complete these steps and reach the application interface, there have been some significant changes. The first thing you will notice is the minimalist approach. The earlier interface had two shades of blue to frame the template's library. The new one uses a more neutral color palette with illustrations to add a little pop of colors. In terms of functionalities, the template categories got some updates here. Earlier, you could see the document types in the left panel. To make this more user-friendly, the new UI groups document types as business essentials, general purpose, web banner, and social graphics. Under each of these groups, you can see individual document types such as infographic, presentation, flyers, etc. When you click on a specific type, you can see the categories on your right. This not only makes the template library more organized, but also makes it easier to introduce more types of document templates in the future without cluttering up the experience here. Here also, you will notice that the blue got replaced with a neutral color to create a cleaner look and offer more focus on the templates. Grouping the documents this way helped us bring in a cool functionality as well. Previously, if you wanted to create a social graphic on a blank canvas, you would have to first select the canvas, then choose the size. With the new interface, all social graphics and web banners are categorized by platform. So all you have to do is to select the kind of social graphic you want to create and you will have the right canvas size automatically. Isn't that cool? There's a bunch of new features in the document editor as well. Let's see. Once you select a template, you can name it for better identification. The interface remains almost similar with a tiny new addition. You can now see the document type clearly on top while choosing a template and making it your own. In the editor, the blue frame has been removed in favor of a cleaner look, but that's not all. The widget panel got completely revamped with addition of some fun colors here. Moreover, earlier text and background was clubbed under one group. In the new UI, background was brought under graphics and media, and text frames were brought under the same group as text. In the text widget, there's been some significant update that will make life easier for you as a user. In the new UI, when you try to add a text box, you have the option to choose the text as heading, subheading, and bot text. The text editing panel comes with a new improved look that is focused towards creating a better user experience as well. For smaller screens where you do not have enough screen space to display all editing options, you can click on this more option to see all editing components. The recycle bin is also available to you within the left pane navigation. So if you mistakenly delete a document, you can access it easily. While these are the major changes the new UI has brought in, the interface has been updated to create a better user experience throughout the application. Sign into your DocHippo account today to explore these fun changes. If you are yet to sign up to DocHippo, create your free account and start creating stunning documents today. With DocHippo, design is easy.